welcome to my channel. Welcome to a lovely wet day in the north of England for a change. This is the Budget Mum UK. I'm just filming in the kitchen because I realised I forgot to do an intro and an outro for this video. But I wanted to let you know what it's about. This channel is also with budgeting, finance, uh, lots of ways to save money, just keep on track of things, just... Uh, Keeping it up, yeah. We're just uh, we're doing all crazy fun things, keeping our life going, and it's pretty good life. We quite like our life. It's uh, not too not too shabby. So if you think you're into all things uh, budgeting, finance, and things that are not too shabby, then uh, I would love it if you'd stick around, and check out this video. This is my um, check-in, and also I'll do some savings channeling ch challenges, um, cash stuffing with some money that I've got left over. So yeah, check it out. I'm on my way out, <laughs> little speedy intro. I've got like a dozen orders to get out of the post right now, trying to make the last post before it disappears. Um, so thank you for all those, you're amazing by the way. Um, yeah, and I will, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll pull the video in, let's go. Okay, so we're gonna do this week's check-in, see what I've spent and where I've saved, and then we're gonna use the change, whatever's left over, to stuff our challenges and our different pots and other things and our different um, envelopes and everything else. So we've got oops, September, here we go. So I've already set myself these challenges of no spend days, but let's have a look at where we got to as well. Throughout the week we had the 10th, which was a groceries shopping day. But it wasn't too bad. I spent a total of 48.54. And then for Monday, where am I at? Monday was a no spend day. Now, I put down a no spend day for the 12th, but actually, I went to see my friend Lisa, who does nails and eyebrows and other things, and I did get her to do my eyebrows, so I did spend in the end. So, I planned in these no spend days, but do you know what? I've, I've got an extra no spend day there, so it's kind of like I've, I've switched them around, so that's not a problem at all. And then, um, 13th was a no spend day. Oops. I did go and see a girlfriend on the 14th, just went to her house and she made us lunch and I took her a present, which was just something I got last Christmas and I just thought it was nice to take her something. Um, this baby normally gets spoiled, don't they? So Friday was a no spend day and today took the car in for its service. Uh, it wasn't too bad. Got my oil changed for free, got my tyres pumped up. It even got a clean and after the um the, the, all the sahara desert sands that we had blowing on them the other week uh, it finally got washed because i hadn't gotten around to do it so the good thing is is that i pay each month so if you have a look at my monthly um outgoings where are we this way so here it says car service so every month i pay 20 pound direct debit and that just sort of accrues for every time I need a service on the car, which is one of the best things I've done, actually, because I was that person who never got the car serviced. Uh, it was just something I never did. And, um, yeah, I don't know whether it like, depreciates in value, but actually by paying it, only because when you come to do it, you know it's every year. I never saved enough money and I never was ready for it. I couldn't afford it or justify it. But because it's already set up when I got the car, it's been a godsend to be to be honest and like especially because i needed oil changing and my tires redoing and it just gets done within the service so that saved me quite a bit of stress and worry um, and i really like that so let's just see how much change i want do you know what i'm not done what i'm not done is it coloring all my lovely expenditures so where are we i don't need that one Around. I didn't do it last week either. These are the only ones I need so far. So yeah, we've got um oops. 
You know, I've even written on here, but I've not written what they are. I know this was Holly's for archery. Don't know why. How am I to do that? And I know this was time for me because I uh, went out with a girlfriend and they paid. But um, obviously, I bought some some drinks. That's a nice color. And then Alex was I spent his ten pound last week. Well, last week before we were up. Um, but we had some because for whatever reason I only put ten, even though I'd need fourteen. I don't know why I did that. So uh, petrol. Oh, I've not written these. Honestly, what am I like? It's a good job you're here to keep me on track. Petrol, groceries. That's a nice petrol they call it. Uh, groceries. And then what is it? Groceries. Uh, the... um, beauty. And I think that's it. That's it. That's what we're up to. Fab. So that's where we're at. Pop them back. Yeah, so let's have a look at what change I've got and where I can pop that. And, okay, I just realised as I've done this, I've written one pound, uh, 48 54 it was 48 44 I spent on groceries. Sorry, I'll go back and fix that in a second. And then beauty, I've got eight quid left over. I knew it wasn't going to be 20, but I had a 20 pound note in the, um, I had a 20 pound note in my fluid envelopes binder. So actually I didn't mind because I thought, well, at least then I'll have some left for doing this basically. So what have we got here? Five. Seven, eight, nine pound fifty-six. But uh, as always, I'm going to do my pot of gold. What's well, I've got one. And two pound coins. So which have I actually got in here now? This is still got loads of room in it. Saved um two four oh, two four six eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen times five one two five sixteen times five five oops it's eighty two four six eight, ninety quid in there nearly hundred pound in two pound coins that was easy enough and then we've got I'm gonna put this fiver into my gifts. Into gifts, and oh yeah, I think I said the other day I'm gonna um I need to sort of rejig around this this binder, but yeah, I've got plans. I'll, I'll do a video on it and I'll explain more on that. That's fine. That's going in there, and then I've got two pound fifty six in my penny saving challenge. Let's see what we've got. Oh, I've got £2.56, so that's be useful. There we go. And you can go in there. Let's sit back under that. And we are all good. So now I just want to update what I've actually spent because I was to my budget and then what I actually spent. So spend I actually spent was 48 44 for groceries and I actually spent £12 in here. So there we go. So we've got that one there. Um I have been I have been doing some Sort of side hustling things. I'm gonna do 
a whole video on that because I want to explain. I've got a few things to share with you anyway, but it's just hard to quantify in terms of how well I've, I've managed to do. So um, if you've been around over the last few weeks, you know I went away on holiday because I gave myself at the start of the year a 10k savings challenge, which I've sort of kind of smashed um, more than I'd realised I had done. So I'll be sharing some ideas on that and tips on that with you soon. But yeah, it just needs sort of breaking down so it's manageable and easy for you to understand. And there's other things I need to explain to you and tell you what's been going on. So that's um, a whole other video in itself as well. So I can't wait to do that for you.